dun sa second type na mesh analysis natin na kung saan meron tayong cur uh, current sources. So, we have two cases for or under this uh, type of mesh analysis. Yung una is when a current source exists only in one mesh. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi, wala tayong current source na located siya sa dalawang mesh. Okay? So, for example, itong ating uh, figure na to. So, we have 10 volts here, 4 ohms, 6 ohm, and then nakaparallel si 3 ohms. And then, meron tayong uh, sa last branch natin, meron tayong 5 ampere na current source. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is to proceed on applying KVL on each mesh. Okay? But, dun sa last mesh natin, Alam na natin na ipepeg na natin yung ating I sub 2 as 5 ampere. And then, titignan na lang natin kung yung kanilang direction, yung ginawa nating loop is the same doon sa direction ng ating uh, current source. If not, so, uh, ininegative mo lang yung value ng current source natin. So, we have here sa ating KVL at loop 1, so negative 10, tayo, negative 10 volts. Okay, negative 10 volts. Ayan, negative 10 volts. At least masulat. Okay, dapat pala dito. Negative 10 volts. Ayan. And then, dito sa 4 ohms natin, uh, I1 long current. Tapos sa 6 ohm natin na resistor, dalawang current, I1 minus, I2 equals, wala na, so equate to 0. And then, sa second uh, KVL natin, since I2 is meron tayo, doon sa mesh natin, meron tayo ditong current source na 5 ampere. So, I sub 2 is ne equal to negative of 5 ampere since opposite sila ng direction. Pero kung pares sila ng direction, yung loop and the current source, so pares lang sila ng uh, uh, sign and yung uh, magdusod ng ating current. So, since I sub 2 is equal to negative 2 ampere, substitute mo lang dito yon makukuha mo yung value ni I sub 1. You say you have only one equation, a uh, one unknown, I sub 1 na lang nawawala. So, makukuha mo na yung value ni I sub 1 with one equation. So, madali lang siya if ang um, ating current source exists only in one mesh. How about kung ang current source natin exists, nag-exist siya sa dalawang mesh? For example, ito, when a current source ex exists between two meshes. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, so, titingnan mo muna yung ating figure. We have 20 volt source, 6 ohm resistor, series kay 2 ohm, 6 ampere current source, and then parallel itong 10 and 4. So, we have a current source between two meshes, I1 and I2. So, kasama yung ating, meron din tayong element dun sa branch kung nasaan yung ating current source, which is the 2 ohm resistor. Anong gagawin natin? So, ang gagawin natin is to exclude the current source and the elements na kasama dun sa or connected na in series dun sa ating current source. So, exclude mo lang to. This is actually our super, uh, I mean, ma from this, kapag exclude natin to, magkakaroon tayo ng super mesh. Ito. So, tatanggalin mo yan. So, meron na tayong super mesh. A super mesh results when two meshes have a dependent or dependent current source in common. So, meron tayong a common na current source, either dependent or independent. So, kapag in-exclude natin yan, meron tayong super mesh. Ayan. So, yung super mesh natin, mapapansin nyo, na-retain yung ating mga current or loop current. Ayan. Gagamitin natin sila as it is kapag nag-KVL tayo. So, for example, magka-KVL tayo dito. Okay. So, KVL tayo. So, we have negative 20. Okay. Minus 6. Ay, I mean, plus 6. Ano yung uh, current na dadaan? Okay. 6 loop current. I sub 1. And then, plus 10. Anong current na dadaan kay 10? I sub 2. Okay, retain natin yung mga loop current. And then, plus 4. 
ay sabto ang loop current na dadaan kay uh, 4 ohm resistor and then equate to 0. So, this is um, I1. So, 6 I sub 1 plus 14 I sub 2 is equal to 20. This is our equation 1. Ngayon, saan magagaling yung second equation natin? Yung second equation natin ay magagaling siya dun sa ating node KCL. KCL sa node. No? Okay, KCL tayo sa node. Let's say this is node A. So, KCL tayo at node A. Ano na ba yung mga current dyan? So, we have I1. Susundan mo, lang na, susundan mo lang yung direction ng loop current. And then, I sub 2. And then, we have ito entering 6 ampere. Ayan o. No? Yung branch current dito ay 6 ampere. So, I sub 1 entering. Okay? Plus uh, 6 ampere entering. And then, minus I sub 2 equals 0. So, we have I sub 1 minus I sub 2 equals negative 6. So, this is equation 2. Now, you have two equations, two unknowns. So, you can generate our matrix here. Dito ko na nalalagay. So, 6 and that is 6, that is 1, 14 and then negative 1. Tapos, I1 I2. So, equals 20 and negative 6. So, 6, 14 and then 6, 14 and then I1, 1, and negative 1, and then 20, and 6. Tapos, calculate na lang. So, 5, 1, so 6, 14, 20, 1, negative 1, and negative 6. So, I1 is negative 3.2. And I sub 2 is equal to 2.8. So, bali, ito yung uh, sagot natin. If you have this uh, kind of circuit. Okay. So, ganun lang siya.